You want to cook it all the way up on high, okay? Until every bit of that cooks out of it. And by the time it's ready, our biscuits are going to be good and ready. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Colored Valley Cooks. And we're going to take the outer leaves off of it. And like I said, not all of us are eating, but I think I'm going to go ahead and make it. And that way it'll be in the refrigerator with, if we need a leftover. So anyway, all I'm going to do is chop it up. chop up your cabbage and I think I cut it really too small but you don't have to cut it that small it's just totally up to you use a bouillon cube okay now this is in my second cookbook it's called green stewed cabbage and that's the little picture May drew of me <laughs> and it's in my cookbook on some pages so we're going to use the cabbage we're going to use a, a chicken bouillon actually today I'm using a beef bouillon you can use beef or chicken um, so I'm going to grab a, we're going to take a, a measuring cup, put some water in it. So I'm going to kind of break it apart and put it down in this water so that um, it'll start melting. Because once we fry it just a little bit, then we're going to kind of steam it until all the water has evaporated. Most of the water has evaporated. So we're just going to set that down in that hot, hot water. And we're going to mix it up. And just let, and the more it sits in that real hot water, the more it's going to work. Okay? Now we're going to take your butter and you're going to put it in your skillet. I'm actually out of butter, so we're using margarine. I'm completely out of butter, and I'm trying to save money, and I haven't been to the store. I am trying to cook up everything I have, and since I'm not doing a complete whole head of cabbage, I'm not going to use quite all that much. Anyway, I'm trying to save some money since my daughter's starting college this fall. And trying to cook, you know, what we already got around the house. So we're going to turn up the eye and we're going to start frying this cabbage up some. Okay. Now, now's a good time to salt and pepper it. Uh-oh, we got this big leaf in there. So we're going to put in a little bit of salt because if you were making the whole batch the bouillon would be just enough salt you wouldn't have to add it uh, so I'm just barely putting some in there because the bouillon's gonna flavor it a lot keep mixing up your bouillon as your as you go so that it will be ready to put in there in a few minutes okay So right now, we're just kind of cooking that up a little bit. And I'm going to back y'all up. And we are going to put some of our pork and beans in this skillet. Everything we're cooking in this tonight is cast iron. We got our biscuits in cast iron. We're going to have our pork and beans in cast iron. Pretty good. Pretty high. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bouillon in there. So that it can start uh, cooking off of it some. And I just leave that up on a high temperature, y'all, and let it just kind of boil for a minute. Okay? Now over here, I'll let y'all see that up close and personal. It's really, really good. It's pork. It has black beans, kidney beans, pork and beans pieces of onion, barbecue sauce, 
and then the pork is broiled on both sides with a uh, pork rub for 10 minutes in the oven and you cook it really pretty much all day in the crock pot and you want to cook it all the way up on high okay until every bit of that cooks out of it and by the time it's ready our biscuits are gonna be good and ready like it's supposed to see how it's drying up and now it'll be done in like a couple of minutes and we're gonna eat I'm gonna flip out those biscuits and we're gonna eat so while y'all watch that right quick it's gonna get sizzly um, I'm gonna make me a cup of tea now all we gotta do is flip our biscuits out and we can eat so let me get a plate they look I love cabbage yummy <laughs> but anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching Color Valley cooks tonight making biscuits and um, warming up some leftovers and making the stewed cabbage that's in the volume 2 cookbook we're gonna have a stormy supper that cabbage is so good y'all if you've never made cabbage this way make it this way and don't leave anything out of it make sure you use the bouillon cube it is so good if any of y'all have had it like this tell them how good it is and now uh this pork rub and stuff that chris has has cayenne pepper in it and i told y'all if y'all don't like something to be kind of spicy hot, because I'm not that crazy about it. Y'all know from FFF. When I say spicy, I don't mean spices. I mean, that's going to burn my mouth spicy. You know, people just take me the wrong way um, on that show. But anyway, if it's really hot, I don't really like it. So there's two tablespoons of cayenne pepper in his pork rub. And if you don't want it to be that way, just put one. And the flavor would still be there, but it won't be quite as hot. Y'all, that is one of the best recipes you could ever make. And it's so easy. And it was just something that I concocted out of my head. I thought it would be really good. And that touch of liquid smoke just brings it over the top. I'm telling you, it is amazing. And it doesn't taste that spicy to me. Mmm! This is a good supper. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching it. We'll see you next time on Color Valley Cooks. Y'all watch us Thursday night on FFF Family Food Fight. Channel 2 ABC. We're in the final three. We worked hard to get there too, y'all. And we listened to them and we learned as we went. We really did. Love ya. Bye. Um... If y'all want to talk to me, you can. Bye, baby. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. Love you, too. Now, look. Here I am, Mrs. Colored Valley Cooks, at home, cooking, and there's nobody here to eat. <laughs> oh. So, I'm going to put up a little bit of a mess while this is cooking. Um, I, we didn't do it after the episode show this week. Because Chris is in Florida, my brother, I didn't go to his house. And so if you're if you have any questions, you can ask me. I thought about just doing one by myself. Um, because I got plenty of time. But I'm just gonna throw this stuff up in the cabinet and wipe this off and then um and then we can uh, finish up our supper, okay? I'll get out some tea. If y'all were here, I would make you a plate you could eat with me. That would be great. And what did I do with my blade? It's over here. So when I clean up my biscuit mess, I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see. I just take a, my scraper and I scrape it off. And if you didn't know this, if you work with flour at all, any kind of flour. Um, if you will use cold wash rag, it comes up real quick. 
if you if you use a warm wash rag, it makes it gummy. So I know it's not a lot of fun to use a cold wash rag sometimes, but if you'll use a cold wash rag on your flour, um, you see how fast that come up? I have to pull these apart and clean out from under them. Or in between them. Alright, so we're going to have some tea. I'm saving that and making some uh, egg rolls. Don't y'all think that would be good? I've got some radishes and some carrots. And I'm going to chop it really, really thin and make a couple egg rolls with it. <sighs> On another day, right? So we don't want to waste it. Y'all would need to get over here and watch this. I'm about to burn it. But that's what you want it to do. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks. Love y'all. Bye.